An infusion is when you take an ingredient and you're taking the flavor out of that ingredient and putting it into your alcohol of choice. And today I want to show you how to make a really, really easy, simple way to create an infusion right into the bottle. So you don't need a jar, you don't need to measure anything, it's all going to be right in the bottle. And this is really one of the easiest ways, one of the really just a way to elevate your cocktail immediately, which is you're just changing the base spirit to change the flavor profile of your cocktail. So we're going to use vanilla beans today. Um, and vanilla is actually a, started off as a flower, as an orchid. And some of the most popular vanillas come from Mexico, Tahiti, Madagascar. This is from Madagascar. And what you're going to do, it's really simple. You're gonna, I like to take a bread knife because it has all these sharp edges. And you're going to open up the bottle. I'm actually using a cachaça today. Cachaça is a rum-based spirit from Brazil. It's actually what the base spirit is used for in caipirinhas. And we actually have another video that you guys can go to to show how to make a caipirinha. But this is made from sugar cane. And <clears throat> you can use anything though. You could use rum, you could use rye, you could use gin, whatever alcohol. I've done it in mezcal before, it's fantastic. So I'm gonna use this cachaça. Um, this particular cachaça is called Novo Fogo, it happens to be organic. And where it is in um, the forest in Brazil, it has this incredible banana flavor. So that's why I thought vanilla would be great with it. So you're going to take the vanilla bean and you're literally going to split it right down the middle. So be careful because you want to, that's why I like this sharp knife is I can stay pretty much in a straight line. And then as it opens, this is the actual paste that's inside, but I like to keep it on there. So I'm not trying to take the paste out. I love the flavor of the skin. I want the paste in there. And you'll just slip it right in the bottle. Again, we'll take this, we'll open it up, put it right in the bottle. Two is probably good. And there you go. We've got the vanilla bean infused cachaça. Probably want it to sit for about seven to 10 days. It's gonna really infuse pretty quickly. Sometimes I like to agitate it. It's not a lot of, it's not ingredient heavy, but sometimes this helps to get the flavor. And uh, just let that sit in a cool, dry place for seven to 10 days when you're ready to go. But please check out our other video on how to make a vanilla bean infused caipirinha.